What is going on YouTube? It's your boy man like Tats here and I'm um, let me turn off the car real quick. It's your boy man like Tats here and I'm back again with another training vlog. But today is a little bit different. Today we're gonna be going deeper into you know our feelings, we're gonna be going into our feelings, into our moods, into you know why we really play the sport that we play. I'm gonna be asking questions, it's gonna be it's gonna be more than one part series. I'm gonna be asking different people, you know, questions like, oh, why do they play the sport? You know, have they ever been rejected by a team? Have they ever been told that they can't do it? You know, why do they why do they train so hard? What's the purpose of it? All those questions, because I know there's a lot of you out there that really want to know. There's a lot of you out there that are looking for the motivation, the inspiration to keep going, to keep training, to keep grinding. It doesn't matter how old you are. I believe if you train yourself hard enough, your mentality is good enough, you can make it. So guys, I'm going to catch you over there. It's a beautiful day today. Absolutely beautiful day today. This is the type of days that we love. It's a beautiful day today. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. The sun is beaming. You guys are going to see some good clips. I think they're already training over there. I got here a bit late, but that's okay. And I will see you guys in a little bit. Peace. Hey guys, my name is Fitzam Abraha and I'm 18. Uh, Michael Tanatswa Geller, full government name, 20 years old. There, bro. Uh, green, white. Good, good. Oh, uh, green, red. Good fit. Keep on looking short, looking short. Keep going, looking short. So, growing up, I played at Western Strikers. That was my first club growing up. And I transitioned on to Adelaide Olympic for a couple of years, Croydon for my senior years, and this year I ended up playing for Pirates. Orange, red, green. difficult thing I'll say is um, believing in yourself and yeah I'll say believing in yourself okay yeah that's the most difficult thing because sometimes you, you doubt yourself and you there's some days where you think if it's really worth it and you just feel like giving up but if you stay persistent you never know what's around the corner <laughs> As, as a player that's been through both, I can see there's a big difference. Um, it's more intense in Melbourne as there's more clubs, there's more leagues and the people there are just naturally hungrier for the opportunity. Whereas in Adelaide, it's good competition but it could definitely be leveled up 100%. 100%. Yeah, yeah. Remember that time we were going on a fight? I guess <laughs> 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 yeah. Wait, this guy and this other guy were like... Oh. What, what were you saying again? Blue Eagles, yeah? Yeah. I, I started off perfect. It was a good game for me. Tans was having off game, he was pissing uh, me off. It wasn't off, I wasn't getting the ball, bro. He wasn't holding I the ball. I wasn't getting the ball, G. Well, the keyboard, like this nigga's one, like, main role is to hold the ball fast. Yeah. yeah. As a striker. The ball would come, he would hold it, and then it would go under his leg. Oh, yeah. Uh, that happened three times, and I just couldn't control it, because if he controlled it, it would have been me and him versus the other, like, we would have smashed him. Yeah. But he kept going under him and pissed me off. I wasn't getting... Yeah, 
all the time. I feel like that all the time. I'm not even gonna lie because because like there's there's a standard that I've set for myself and so I haven't reached that standard yet. So you see that I'm training every day to try to to try and hit that standard. I don't know when it's gonna come, but I know if I keep at it, keep going, it will come eventually. So this coming season I do have a couple options where it's all the state or in this state. But I've definitely set some high goals. Definitely comeback season for me. Um, a lot of goals hopefully, a lot of chances created. I just want to be a deadly player and a villain on the pitch overall. Everything, training, mental compa mental capacity. Because if you keep getting the reps in, it will, it will basically become second nature. If you do it at a young age, it will just benefit you, benefit you even more. Training from a younger age will just help you a lot in the long run. Okay, can you give us some hindsight of where you know you started playing football um, and your club history? Now, a lot of people don't know this, but I grew up playing soccer or football in the UK. Then I moved to Australia when I was like 11. But before I came, I had a banging season. Like, it was, I had a good season. Then I came here, I played for Mowbray Jets, um, under 12s, 13s, had good two years there. Then after that, a new coach had come in because my old coach went to a state team. And then from there, I think things just changed a little bit. My career at Mowbray went to the left, so I went to Playford. From Playford, I had another good two seasons there. Got invited to, to um, FFSA trials and all that, state trials. Then after that, I don't know, I kind of like, I stopped staying focused, like, because when I was younger, we in the UK, we trained on the streets every day, we played street soccer, we were just like, it was competitive, like, it wasn't, when we trained, it wasn't like we're training, just, we played because we love it, and we didn't know that we were improving, so when I came here, I just lacked off because I thought everyone was like, not as good as people from the UK, because all my cousins were telling me, oh, Australians are good at soccer, they don't even play soccer, so I was like, alright, I'll just sit down, like, I'm good enough, I'll just sit down and relax, and that caught up to me future so yeah wait so I'll call it I'll call it oh yeah I think every every person that has a dream to succeed in this path will have haters and I've had some come up to me and I've had a lot of people talk behind me and obviously it's something, you know, you have to go through, you know, if people aren't hating on you, you're not really doing it right. I think definitely in the beginning it did affect me as a player and my confidence on the pitch. But there's a point where it doesn't really matter because it doesn't affect you, you know. Someone's going out of their way to hate you, which means you're doing something that they're jealous of. So if you're getting any hate, just don't even look that way, you know. You're on a, you're on a straight path to your dreams, keep chasing it, and there's no point paying attention to haters.
Facts. Thank you, Fitz. No problem. Thank you. What does the future look like for, for Tana? Uh, sign a contract. Just sign a contract. Sign a contract. And go from there and just score goals. And yeah, I'm not I'm pushing for a contract. If I don't get a contract then Yeah. I don't know. Alright, and last thing, what would you say to any younger footballers out there that just, are just trying believe in yourself. And believe in your Yeah, believe in yourself. Massive thing. Doesn't matter what people outside are saying or what your teammates are saying, or your friends are saying. As long as you know yourself and what you can do, that's about it. All right, thanks, Tana.